Hi everybody, happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend and you got to go outside. It was really nice on Saturday. I had a bonfire. I did that um, Worthington camp out thing and I did a bonfire. So hopefully you got to do something. Um, yeah, glad to see everybody. Well, I can't see you, but you can see me and I wish I could see you, but I saw you during morning meeting, most of you. So we're good. All right. We're gonna start with our sound cards, like always. So, oh, in case you forgot, I will show it and then you will repeat it just like at school. So I would show this and you would say ING ring ing or T topped. All right, so I'm, I'll show them and then you say them at home. Ready? Almost there. Good job, everyone. Now, once we clean these up, we will do our vowel teams and our controlled vowels. All right, so I will say it and then you will repeat it just like every other time. All right. O-U trout ow. O-U soup oo. O-A boat o. E A eat E A U August Aw O W Plow Ow O W Snow O E E Jeep E E R Her Er E Y Key E U E Blue U U E rescue you. A W saw aw. O O book u. Uh. O O school u. I R bird er. A I bait a. E W chew u. O E toe o. O Y boy oi. A R car R. O R horn or. U R burn er. A Y play A. And O I coin oi. Good job, everyone. Okay. So today. We are going to practice and learn two syllable words with vowel consonant E syllable. That's a lot. That's two worlds colliding. We have recently we've been learning about two syllable words, two syllables, one word. Now we're going to learn about words that have a vowel consonant E word and a closed syllable together, but still one word. So you're probably thinking, wow, that's a lot. What is Ms. Adams talking about? I'll show you. 
So our word that we're gonna start with today is this word. I want someone to tell me, you at your house, tell me what word this is. What word is this? The word is mistake. So what I was saying was this is our vowel consonant E word and this is a closed syllable word. But put them together, it's one big word, mistake. So M-I-S, miss, is a closed syllable because we have our short vowel I closed in by our S. That's a closed syllable. And take is a vowel consonant E syllable. A consonant E. All together, it's the word mistake. Does everybody see that? So we have our closed syllable and a vowel consonant E syllable making two syllables, one word, mistake. Okay, I forgot my eraser again, so I'll have to be using my fingers. Um, all right, so let me erase this. Oh my goodness, okay. So with our word mistake, let me erase that again. Mistake, how would we break this into syllables? We just talked about it. How would we break that into syllables? What's our first syllable? Miss is our first syllable. Whoa. Miss. Closed syllable. Why is it a closed syllable? What kind of vowel does it have? It has a short vowel closed in by the S. And our next syllable is take. And it's a what consonant E? O consonant E? I consonant E? A consonant E. A consonant E. So let's find our two vowels, our first two vowels at the beginning of our word. What's our first vowel? I, that's our first vowel. What's our second vowel? A. So did you notice that we split it between the two consonants? Between, remember in the words last week, we used to split our words apart. We're still splitting our word apart to find the first syllable and then the second syllable. So it still works that way. But this time we have an A consonant E syllable at the, on the other side. Closed syllable, just like last week. Last week we had another closed syllable here, not this week. We have closed syllable here, vowel consonant E syllable here. Two syllables, one word, mistake. First syllable, closed syllable. Second syllable, A consonant E syllable word. Put those together. One word, two syllables, mistake. Okay, all right, now let's try a different word. Let's try the word. Let's try the word, actually I'll write it and then you tell me what word this is. Read this word. What word is this? This is the word invite. So how would we break this apart? How would we break this into two syllables? What do you think? I think we should find our two, our vowels. So here's a vowel, here's a vowel. Find the consonants in the middle and split it apart. So in is our first syllable. Vite is our second syllable. In is a closed syllable, I, 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 and is closing in the short I. And then vite is a vowel consonant E word, syllable. Vowel consonant E syllable. I consonant E. I consonant E. So one word, two syllables. In, vite. In is a closed syllable, that's our first syllable. Vite is a vowel consonant E syllable. Two syllables, one word, invite. Okay, and we split it apart at the consonants. So we have a vowel over here, 
and a vowel over here. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. We'll do more of those, don't worry. All right, whoa. Okay, now I want you to write on your piece of paper, or if you don't have it, go get a piece of paper. I have a word I want you to write and where you're gonna practice on your own. So go get a paper and a pencil, pause it if you need to pause, get your stuff. I'm gonna continue. Okay, I want you to write on your paper the word cupcake. Write the word cupcake. Okay, I'll give you a moment to write that. Cupcake. So here's my word, cupcake. What do you notice about the word cupcake? Two syllables, one word. Let's find our first syllable. What's our first syllable? How would you figure that out? Let's find our vowel, then our second vowel, and let's find our consonants in between. We're gonna split those consonants apart. One syllable, two syllable. Cupcake. If you were to clap it out, it would say cupcake. So cup is what kind of a syllable? Open, close, vowel consonant E. What is it? It's a closed syllable. Short vowel, P, closing in the U. So that's a closed syllable. Cake is what? Short, uh, closed syllable, open syllable, vowel consonant E syllable. It's a vowel consonant E. It's A consonant E syllable because we have our A and then our silent E. So cupcake, two syllables, one word. Our first syllable is a closed syllable. Second syllable, A consonant E or vowel consonant E syllable. Split it apart at the consonants, vowel on this side, vowel on this side, two syllables, one word. Okay, all right, now we're gonna do some dictations, just like always. So I'm gonna have you write some sounds and words. So the first sound you're gonna write is the unk sound. What says unk? Wow, what says unk? U-N-K, U-N-K, junk, unk. Good job. All right, next you're gonna write the d, d sound. D. All right, very good, D. Now you're gonna write the ch, ch sound. Good job, it's too easy, it's too easy for you. All right, now I'm gonna have you write a word for me. So I want you to write the word, this will be a trick word. I want you to write the word people. It's that funky spelled word, people. People, P-E-O-P-L-E. People. Weirdly spelled, but it's a trick word, so we just have to figure out and know how to spell people. All right, good job. Now, I want you to write, I want you to write the word sunlit. 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 All right. Sunlit. 
S U N L I T, sunlit. Two syllables, one word, sunlit. Two syllables, one word. Okay, uh, let's do. Um, let's do the word baseball. Baseball. Hmm. That's. Hmm. How would we write the word baseball? There's a lot of things we've learned all coming together for one word. Baseball. Okay. Baseball. Two syllables, one word. Did you have baseball written down? So what's our first syllable? Baseball. If we clapped it out, baseball. Base is our first syllable. And ball is our second, baseball. So what kind of syllable is this? Is it an open syllable word, closed syllable, vowel consonant E? Baseball, uh, A consonant E. Good job, good job, good job. All right, let's do one last word. Let's do the word. Let's do the word catnip. 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 C-A-T-N-I-P. Two syllables, one word. What's our first syllable? Cat. And what's our second syllable? Nip. Both closed syllables. Cat. Whoops. Catnip. Okay. There you go. So we will work more tomorrow on our uh, vowel consonant E syllable and our closed syllable, putting those together to make one word. Remember, one word, two syllables. So on the weekly schedule, there is a video. So go watch that video. Hopefully we'll help you a little bit and we will continue this tomorrow. Good job, everybody. Hopefully you go outside today. It's really nice out. Have a great day. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Bye.